Good job on you. Follow the railroad tracks northeast for the right down on way. Um, so let's see. Treat us soon. We talked about that. So here's our view approaching Griffin. I'd say that checks out uh, pretty well. We can compare those views. Yep. There's Ripon. So we've got Again, the uh, all aircraft coming up from Ripon, little bit lower than I think the picture was taken, but the lakes are out here, the silos obviously to the left. No faster. If you're unable to follow the aircraft, break it off, Ripon. go that's back to Ripon and try it again. We'll see what that's about in a little bit. Uh, situational awareness, checking the live map on my phone here. It's that's looking uh, good. Coming up to half mile southwest of his correct away. Someone is uh, just turning all over Ripon, so that will be interesting. I hope they're done maneuvering when we get there. Good rock on you, Cessna. Start a right turn heading 0 9 or 0 due east. All right, so we got visual reference points, so we'll use those a little bit later. Uh, we'll come back to that. And once again, it's a heading 0 9 or 0 to follow this point. So these are, uh, these are our transitions we have to be ready for. for so we're either going to get 2 right. 7 and 9, which is railroad track transition. We're going to get the Fisk Avenue transition was 3618. Now, you might think, oh, I'm not listening to ATC at all. That's just because I know they're not going to call me until we get up to Fisk. In fact, they, they can't see me yet because they're just standing down the trailer of Fisk. We'll actually point them out as we, as we uh, fly over. Uh, I'll point out the controllers. Take another look in front of us. Make sure we're not running up to anyone. Uh, no, looks clear out there. It can be a little bit hard to spot traffic in this sim, which is why the iPad really helps. Um, so this Blue is basically this nice warning here says don't heading confuse heading Highway 44 with this red line, don't confuse that with this gap. Monitor Tower 126.6, Wasp Nash, you can start that right turn now. All right, rip it to Fisk, so that's about to be us, so we're at a good, play, a good spot in the Notum here. Yellow and white uh, Bonanza, half mile southwest, rock your wing. Let's get directly over the tracks, we got to be directly over the tracks, we can't be cheating. Yellow and white Bonanza, nice job, follow northeast we'll bound, over the, the railroad tracks, for the right down runway 27. Uh, let's just finish briefing you guys in the note. So, uh, single file over the tracks, oh, look at that, we just talked about that. Don't know S-turns, uh, lower gear, we're going to have to do that here. Again, all aircraft with retractable uh, gear, make shortly. sure that you have your gear down okay. prior oh. to the airport. Oh, prior to the airport. All right. In that case, I'll cycle it back up for now, actually. She's totally prior to the airport, so. All aircraft coming up from Ripon, maintain 1,800. Half mile and trail spacing 90 knots, no faster. No S turns, no side by sides. If you're unable to follow the aircraft in front of you, break it off, start over again, find an aircraft you can follow. And she's saying 1,800. She's not really accounting for the high stream there. My gear is stuck. Let's recycle that. Green Archer, or half mile southwest of it. That's concerning. Rock your wing. Oh, I think it's on mail. That's cheap. Yeah, we're good. I feel like I still hear the gear sound, but I think we're okay. Green, um, good rock on you. Start a right okay, turn so zero, now we're ready for the transition. So three, we're just six. gonna wait and see what transition we get. I'm gonna kick the autopilot off, and I am gonna drop the gear Green down. Archer, actually. once again, heading zero nine or zero two east to follow the Fisk Avenue for the left base runway three six. Gears coming down. Monitor Lights are all on. One, two, six, point that's six, the, one, that's the key there. We are directly over the railroad tracks, as you can see. Look on the live map. We're looking good. No one in our way. Got an arrow half mile southwest of Fisk, rock your wing. See the tracks right below us there. Just keep checking on. Oh, you know, we actually, we got to be back here at the visual reference point. So for that arrow that just rocked the race. Good rock, follow the railroad tracks for the right down and runway 27. Keep the speed up a little bit. The gear drop, the gear drop, gravel pit, drop the gear really one one eight point five. Welcome to Oshkosh. Okay, so here are our visual reference points. So three miles out. It right, looks like I've got a target, uh, no mode C. If there. anyone, uh, make sure that your mode C altitude no, readout is on for good. the aircraft that's half mile southwest of Fisk. Turn right, heading zero nine or zero. There you go, Seth Mike Charlie. Thank you, White Seth, no rocker wing. All right, so there's the smokestack. And we've got nice the uh, right, heading, small zero, farm zero, with zero, the pond right there. For so we'll keep an eye on those as we get closer. So we'll bend in the tracks here. We're going to follow that. And we're going to take off the notum for you guys so you guys can see a little bit better. And I'll try Again, to remember to bring it up later. From Ripon, make sure that your mode C altitude readout is on. 1,800 feet, 90 knots, directly over the railroad tracks, half mile and trail spacing. Once so we're going to get ready to rock pretty soon the here. We're about half mile, half mile, half mile out. Miles out. We'll I could be using DME if I wanted to, but I just decided that I would use the visual give an aircraft a similar... This is the smokestack here. A turn, and you're outside of a mile. So that's our three, More than three likely mile mark. wasn't meant for you. Continue over the railroad track. So she's saying we can expect to rock about a mile out. Red white so. Cessna, half mile southwest of Fisk. Rock your wing. Red white Cessna, nice rock. Follow the railroad tracks northeast for the right down on runway 27. There's the grain farm. Maintain 1,800 feet until the gravel pit. Monitor tower 116.5. 
So we're going to say 27. For that red ribbon, how about you give me a good wing rock? Nice wing rock on you. Turn right heading 090 due east to follow the fifth avenue for the left main runway 36. And uh, tower will give you either 36 left or 36 right, right once they uh, start talking to you. Frequency 126.6, welcome on Scott. Let's check it over ahead of us, especially at our altitude. We're going to start looking down. At, uh, okay, so we got Fisk coming up here. So this is Fisk, and the controller is down at that little shack. Uh, I really should kick out of hot off this. This is dangerous. Uh, let's see if I can do this before she calls us. All right, kick the auto pilot on. Okay, let's take a quick look down at Fisk. Oh, this is us. Here we go. Slow down and take, start our descent here. Oshkosh arriving runways 27 and 36, pages 15 and 19 in the NOTAM. Please become familiar with these pages. Reaching rip and pick out an aircraft of similar speed to follow start northeast along the, along the railroad track towards fifth. Maintain half mile in trail spacing directly over the railroad track, 1800 feet, 90 knots, no faster. If unable or if you have to insert it's not going to work, break it off, find another aircraft that's flying faster. Start descent. 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 Again, uh, we'll pick you out about a half mile to a mile southwest of Fisk, and give us a good wing rock when we give you instructions. Here we go. All right. Let's see, do we pass Fisk yet? Uh, it's right on our engine. We're not going to be able to see it. Well, we got a quick glimpse of it right before Wind she comes to Comet Oshkosh, altimeter 2 niner, niner 2. Really good. Directly tower, over the railroad tracks, 1800 feet, 90 knots, no faster. Alright, we're monitoring North Tower now. Oops. Struggling to hold that altitude. Let's get back up there. Cherokee, you're doing good. Just keep it turning towards the uh, towards the green dot now. And uh, keep it turning. There you go. Quit land uh, out of the green dot. So the way the airport works, I'm probably not going to bring that note back up just for the sake of uh, workload and, and visuals for you guys. But the way the the, uh, the runways work, there are dots on the runways, there are little dots that they're colored dots that they're going to tell us to land on. In fact, you know, I should, really, really should bring that up. Let me get that up for you guys. Uh, okay. There we go. Okay, so we're heading to the gravel pit down the tracks, and then we're going to make a right turn in the gravel pit for the right down for two seconds. We're still a little uh, bit fast. Let's pull that back. Right the the uh, All right. Nice so we got an orange dot, a green dot, and a white dot. Uh, so we're going to listen for our dot assignment as we get there. Look at this beautiful view of the airport here. Look at that. Look at Oshkosh. Look at Lake Winnebago out there. Look at all the planes. Got the uh, control tower out there. Departures off right under us, so or or go around. Even hey, Anders, see you in chat there. All right, so we are coming up on the gravel pit. There it is, just off our nose, and we're gonna start that right turn. You'll see the gravel pit a little bit better here, off off our left, just in front of the prop as we uh, as we go over it. 
We're actually not going over, we're saying just inside the gravel pit. There it is, right there, under the engine. That's the gravel pit there. Oh, you can't see because the note. Oh, this is. Here we go. Alright, we're going orange dot. So gear is already down, that was done over Fisk. We're dropping flaps now. Flaps full. We're planning to exit to the right. Let's get rid of that notum for you guys. Hopefully, I can do that safely. Nice job, sir. There it is. Baron, you can uh, turn base now. Clear to land. Orange dot. All right, and that was us. Turn to base now. We're clear to land on the orange dot. Here we go. A little bit slow. Add power. Add power. We have to square this base to final turn here so we can try and put down the orange. Nice job, Seth. Now, right turn into the grass and follow the note of parking. Welcome to Alright, we made it. We're going to slow a little bit here, not too much, and then slowly start to angle off to the right. Nice job, Baron. Right turn uh, when you can. Sorry, and, uh, taxi the lights. To parking. Where are you uh, piloting from today? Dallas, Texas. Well, I'm from Austin, so good to see you up here. All right. Okay. We made it. So we've uh, cleaned up our airplane. Flaps are up. And we can go strobes off, landing lights off. Got to keep the... Uh, Keep the power a little bit higher here in the grass, just so we don't get stuck. Although it's real, rolling real nice today, it's nice and dry. So, uh, let's bring the Notum back up here for our taxi plan. There it is. So, we exited to the right. That's, that was per the, uh, per the number. Oh, here's another guy. Oh, there's the rock. There you go, Brown Cessna. <laughs> All right. Gain on the Cessna, we should probably slow down. Holiday Inn Express. I believe in the real world, it's a Hilton Garden Inn. Uh, so exit to the right, follow the flagman. Stay to the right of the flagman, so we're going to do that. You can see the flagman up ahead of us there. So we'll stay to the right of them. Follow all these cones and signs. That's what we're doing there. Staying to the right. And we're gonna jump to page 20. Whoa, whoa! <laughs> Taxiway Bravo One's a doozy. I think we're okay. We still got both props, let's check. There's one, two. Yep. Right. We made it. All right. um, so we are gonna taxi out here to the runway 27 parking area, which is right here that I highlighted. Which means we just have to taxi out. Here's another one coming over the gravel pit. The uh, white Cessna just entered the downwind from the railroad tracks at 1,800. Start your descent and rock your wings. And then once we uh, once we park, we'll do a little plane spot in here. We'll see some of the arrivals coming in. Good rock, the white Cessna is runway. So we're just following the signs here, following the all shot. aircraft signs. All aircraft this way. That's us. Oh, we got one on short final here. There he is. Kind of hard to see with the camera bumping up and down in the grass. He went on downwind. I thought I saw one. There should be that one. There he is. That's the one we watched rock earlier. Brown Cessna nicely done. Right turn. Yeah, we're just going to turn off into, into here. Follow the uh, notum to parking. Welcome to Oshkosh. White Cessna on the downwind. Start your base turn now. You Look out, guy. The orange stuff. Thanks, Anders. Appreciate it. Just saw it on the chat. All right. Now we're going to keep the engine running here so we can keep our radios going. So I'm just going to set the parking brake. Um, and we are going to hop out. Let's go look at some airplanes here. Uh, let's see. Let me check the live map. Looks like we got two coming in. Oh, we got Max inbound. We can watch him land. 
We'll see Max coming over the tracks pretty soon here. Check out the scenery in the meantime. Really, really nice scenery out here. Got the, uh, the vintage area here. All aircraft inbound for runway 27. Stay at or over the rail tracks at or above 1,800 until you enter the downwind. I'll call you out by type and color as you turn the uh, downwind. We're landing runway 27, orange and green dots, and uh, the right turns off into the grass. Got all these airplanes. Uh, two Delta Whiskey's going to disconnect, having a rudder control issue. Uh -oh. Thanks. Have a good one. Oh, uh, you bet. Good luck. <laughs> all right. So where all the magic happens right here in the tower. Um, let me get rid of these, uh, at least the note of overlay for you guys. There we go. So the arrival uh, stuff, oh, here's the departure. So departure off of three six left. There's the uh, famous Oshkosh sign. Red and white Cherokee, uh, just being Boeing the Plaza uh, right here. Any departures? How's the departure line looking? Oh, not too bad. You got one departure. Nice start from Cherokee. You can start your descent. So uh, Panthera or Diamond taxiing out. See a lot of beacons down there. Look at all these parked airplanes. So obviously a lot of them are just with the scenery, but here's one. There's one. There's one. So these are all pilots that are uh, either spotting like we are, plane spotting, or uh, like there's some, or they're uh, getting ready to to head out for a flight. All right, let's see where Max is at. So Max is on the midfield down, and we should be able to see him. We must have uh, missed his rock while we were and talking. For the red and white Cherokee said uh, orange dot, correct, sir? Red and white Cherokee, affirmative, uh, there he is. clear line, orange dot. Thank the you. citation max. Unless you like the green dot, we can do that too. That orange dot works, thank you. You bet. All right, there's the base turn. Yeah, red and white trick. If you can't start uh, turning directly towards the orange dot now, there'll be a baron right behind you. We're turning it. We're in a diamond, but uh, maybe turn off this baron. And is that, uh, well, Rocky Rings for me, the one with the diamond, uh, just over the rail pit, it looks like, starting you down one now. Yep, that must be you for the diamond entering the downwind, the runway 27, clear land, orange dot. Downwind 27, uh, orange dot, uh, two, uh, diamond 24 hours there. Oh, and here comes Max. Angling off to the right. Following that nice notum. Nice job, Jerky, rolling out. The right turn, and you're already doing it in the grass, and uh, you can uh, follow the note in the parking. Welcome to Oshkosh. Thanks so much. Great job. All right, everyone. Well, we hope, uh, hope you enjoyed that little stream uh, with the uh, departure and arrival from Oshkosh. Got a, uh, like a Cherokee taxiing down here. So this is the taxi route that's defined in the notum here. Uh, let's bring that back up for you guys. So that Cherokee just went down here and made a turn here. And right down that way. So you can see they've got cones. So you don't, land, orange dot, two, four, you don't go up runway five. And then they've got some do not enter signs over here. To make sure that you make that right turn. Inbound over the rail tracks, doing a great and, job uh, to maintain her above 1,800 until you right. enter the downwind, and then you can start your descent. I'll call you out by type and color of being the gravel pits. There's another and one. Runway 27. Like right oh, there's that the brown Cessna today. we saw rock earlier. So likely those guys are all taxiing back for takeoff. So those guys are all going to go out for another run, um, because otherwise they would have just parked up where we were. So these guys are all following the uh, the notum to to take off. Let's see if this guy will make the, the right turn. Midfield downwind. There it is. Yep. Ooh. <laughs> a little heavy on the rudder, but that's great. Nice rock for the Cessna. Runway 27. Clear to land. Out of past How's the orange that departure uh, line looking? Uh, no one waiting at the moment. Everyone's, everything's moving well. All right, everyone. Thanks for joining the stream. Uh, join, join us back uh, for other streams this week. This is SimVenture 2020, the virtual Oshkosh this year, part of EAA's Spirit of Aviation Week. Give the channel a uh, like and a follow, and we will... See ya the next time. Base now, runway 27, clear to land, out of past the orange dot.